Guruji said that sleep means uh, close your eyes and unaware. And meditation means, uh, okay, close your eyes but be aware. Can we do, with regard to this, can we do the meditation with open eye? Once there was a Sufi master, his name was Ibrahim. In Ibrahim's ashram there were many people. One day two disciples met in his garden, in the garden, the ashram. Both were little frustrated and both of them said, I wish we could smoke. They want to smoke but they are in an ashram. So then they talked about it for some time and said, why don't we go and ask the master, can we smoke? They decided to go and ask him separately. Then next evening, one man was again sitting in the same spot, frustrated. Another man came smoking. Hey, you are smoking. How can you smoke? Master told me not to smoke. What did you ask him? He said, I asked him, can I smoke when I'm meditating? He said, no, how are you smoking? He said, that's your problem. I asked him, when I, can I meditate when I'm smoking? He said, okay <laughs> So, <laughs> right now, can I meditate with my eyes open? No. With eyes open, can I be meditative? Yes. But in my meditation, can I open my eyes? No, okay? <laughs> in fact, the samyama we are talking about, you know, did we mention something about samyama? Yeah. The samyama meditations are basically to train you to become, to meditate with eyes open so that twenty-four hours, no matter what you're doing, you're constantly meditating actively. With eyes open, in all the activity that you perform, you can become active meditation. Then it's a different world by itself. So Samyama meditations are for that purpose, to train you to open eyes and meditate. But don't attempt shunya with eyes open. With eyes closed, staying aware, you know how many problems you have. You open your eyes, where all you will go. 